Hey guys, what is up? John here from flyatmikealpha.com and here today with Becca the Pilot. Hey. At Becca the Pilot, right? Yep. And <laughs> Becca is going to tell us all about how she became a private pilot. Now, yeah. instrument rated pilot, yes. but let's focus on private pilot. Basically, yeah. time, cost, money, all that sort of stuff. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. So, when did you first become interested in aviation? When did you first say, I want to do that? So uh, my dad was a private pilot. Mm -hmm. He had his license, just as private. And I went up with him in a Mooney. He had a share in a Mooney. Okay. And I got to go up with him when I was about, I think I was eight years old. Nice. And I remember that moment vividly. Yeah. He let me take the controls and uh, I was I was in love with it. Yeah. Um, kind of lost sight, sight of it for a while though, honestly. So at honestly. eight years old, you were already a very good instrument pilot. <laughs> oh yeah, like, really yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot shorter, it's, couldn't see out of the window. but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, so I did that and then I kind of lost sight of it for a while. Mm -hmm. um, it's not something that was really brought up to me. Yeah. I don't really know why. It still kind of bothers me a little bit that I never really thought about becoming a pilot myself. Yeah. Um, I wonder sometimes if it's just because I never knew any women that were pilots and I never knew that was an option for me. Yeah, so it's hard to sometimes um, identify, but we yeah. have a female pilot right here. Yeah, female. Yeah private and instrument to yeah, commercial. That's right, that's so right. it's totally doable. Of course, yeah. yes, yes. Um, but uh, what really reignited it was I dated a CFI. Yep. And uh, we took a trip up to Montana. Great way and... to save money on flight training, guys. <laughs> um, Actually, I only did one lesson with him, so okay. it doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good way though, <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Um, but I, we went up to Montana and I was just mind blown. We went in a 206 with his friend and I was just like, 206 is this really is good epic. Airplane. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I was hooked from awesome. that moment for sure. So kind of reignited it. Uh, that was two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, okay. So, not too long so ago. in two years, yeah. you went from zero to instrument now. Yeah. How long did it take to become a private pilot? Um, so, well, I did one lesson with him, yep. uh, but when I officially started training, uh, it took me about eight months. About eight months? Eight months. Okay. So I was working while I was doing yeah. it as well. What so. were you doing for work? I worked for Apple. Okay. In the <laughs> Apple store? Yep. In the awesome. Apple store. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't own any Apple. Yeah. Um, it was sorry. great. Yeah. yeah. I liked um, it. <laughs> so, did you, uh, what would you say your total time was from, as far as flight time? Um, I had a lot of time, actually. I got to go with a friend flying a lot, which was kind of nice. Yeah. Um, and I also, have you ever heard of the 99s? Yes. The Women Pilot yes. Group? Yes, so that's a great organization. We have Such 99s, a good group. Uh, Women in Aviation, Women of Aviation. There's yes. Se there's many different female pilot organizations out there yeah. that you can get linked up with. So even if you're not a pilot already, if you're just curious about flight training, they're a mm -hmm. great place to start. Yeah, so I went to them and the president of that group she helped me out so much. She let me use, uh, she let me rent her plane. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot less than a flight school. Yep. Um, and I was just so inspired by that group just mm -hmm. all together. But um, that saved me a lot. I got to fly a lot. Yep. So I think I had around 90, 90 hours. hours. I honestly can't remember. Yeah. Well, but I had getting, a lot of hours. Yeah, when I you're did. getting discounted aircraft, got to take advantage <laughs> of it because um, it's hard to find. Um, yeah, but certainly, so. you know, hooking up with those local groups, yeah. EAA chapters, um, just, you know, forget the groups even, right? Show up to your local airport mm -hmm. and walk in there, say, I want to become a pilot, but I'd like to get hooked up with some clubs or some other groups, you know, is there any barbecues happening, mm -hmm. any hangar meetups, what's going on? Get hooked up with the social aspect of flying. For sure. People will take you under their wing and help you out with that. Yeah. Um, and you can save so much money that way. Mm -hmm. What would you say total cost was, zero to 90 hours? Um, I think it was around 9,000. Down nine thousand, so, yeah. Which is still not bad for ninety hours because typically you're gonna spend about hundred bucks an hour on an airplane, nine mm -hmm. grand just an aircraft rental plus the CFI. Yeah. So ninety hour private pilot would usually come out to twelve, fifteen thousand in there. It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Overall. Yeah. Really it was, good actually. It, yeah, and I was paying for it all myself, so I was trying to just get yeah. as much as I could and mm -hmm. let it all sink in. So. Yeah. 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 Very nice. So, what would you say during that time of eight months? What was the hardest part for you becoming a pilot? Was it getting hooked up with, you know, the right aircraft rental? Was it, you know, something in flight training that was very difficult? Um, that's a hard one. Uh, finding the right fit with the CFI was kind of a struggle. Um, I had two different ones for my private. Yeah. Uh, I just, I don't know, some, some people you just don't jive with as totally, well, or yeah. sometimes you, you get to a certain point with them and you kind of need someone else to refresh it. You've learned it. all you can from them, so, and that's normal. That's, yeah. There's no such thing as the world's best CFI. Yeah. It's no, just yeah. what works for you, and some people are better at teaching landings than teaching 
flight planning than teaching exactly. weather. Yeah. And so by all means, it's okay to either fly with multiple CFIs or at least mm -hmm. talk to other CFIs. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, when, going through flight training, get some ground instruction from others. <laughs> spot it doesn't exist within 20 miles of here we're doing our best um, but that wasn't the hardest thing by yeah. any means uh, I think the hardest thing was just getting over my own fears you know um, I was I'm kind of a perfectionist yeah and I was not perfect at it at all and that no one is I by I, the way spoiler alert yeah um, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was really hard on myself mm -hmm. um, and I just that I would get in my head about it I was just like I don't know if I can do this I don't know if I'm good enough Mm -hmm. um, I think that was kind of the hardest part is just yeah. getting over my own fears. And I once think two once, hours into it for me or three hours in, I was pretty sure I couldn't be a pilot because I was like, <laughs> the radio comms? Are you kidding yeah, me? it's like all Why would so you much. try to talk this way? It makes no sense. Right. Like, um, I was like, I'll never be a pilot because I yeah. can't talk in the radio. And then like five hours later, it clicked. Yeah. 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 So that and then just paying for it, trying to juggle everything. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, definitely coming up with $9,000 on your own mm -hmm. takes time. Mm -hmm. And so was that kind of how you paced it out over mm -hmm. eight months was yes. as you were able to make money? Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, being involved with those groups, I yeah. got a scholarship later for my instrument. So Awesome. Yeah, though that's a real thing. You get scholarships. Yeah, scholarships <laughs> If you help, apply for sure. them and try for them, you really yeah. can get them. So that helped me as well. Definitely. So. Well, very cool. So yeah. what's your advice to someone who wants to be in aviation and wants to do it inexpensively and quickly um that's yeah. for the most part usually people want to do it quick and definitely cheap i mean mm -hmm. free sounds good to me yeah um, that'd be great so what's uh <laughs> what's the your advice to someone who's about to embark hmm. on this and say i want to be a pilot how can i save time and money yeah um i think a good way to start if you're paying for it all for, all for yourself is to try to save up the money first okay because it can be kind of hard <laughs> Oh yeah, I would say the best thing would try be to save all the money before try, you begin. Yeah, at least for the one license at yep. a time if you can, because having to stop in the middle and save more money, yeah, it just drags it out. Well, you forget some stuff, you lose yeah. a little bit of that dexterity, that skill, and yep. then it costs time and money to pick that back up. So exactly. certainly trying to go through it at a good pace, you know, a steady pace. Yeah. You know, a lesson every week, two lessons, week, three lessons a week, yes. really good pace there. Yes. You can get through it quickly. Mm -hmm. Having the money for it then will help and it saves money in the end, saves time in the end. It's going to hurt again. <laughs> uh, he warned me. <laughs> yeah, saw that one coming. Uh, but also I would say, you know, what do you think about like, so study wise, what did yes. you do as so, far as study? I was going to mention that. So yeah. while you're saving up, do the ground portion yeah. is what I would suggest. That's, you know, cheap, free, uh -huh. really kind of free. And I um, used his course, by the way, for my instrument is the best course I've taken. I did awesome. sporties. I liked yours better, honestly. Ooh, thank you. I really did. I'm dead serious. So yeah. I liked it a lot better. It was a lot more relatable. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I mean, theirs is great, but I, yeah. I really recommend yours. Awesome. So. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah. If you guys got any questions about it, you can email me or Becca <laughs> yeah. uh, message. Yeah. IG. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely. That's what I always tell people is start training, start studying, start mm -hmm. studying before the training, really. That'll help you in your training, keeping it cheap, keeping it move along smoothly. Mm -hmm. And if you just don't have the money right now, you can at least learn about it. And mm -hmm. maybe, maybe you learn about it. You decide it's not for you. It's just too much studying. Yeah. Um, but awesome. Well, yeah. That, uh, I think that pretty much sums it up. Cool. That's uh, pretty much how you become a pilot. <laughs> Zero to hero. Yeah. And then for your instrument, how long did that take you? Uh, three months. Three months. I did that one really yeah. fast. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, three months. It's a lot. I was out of money by that did one. Did you but. study before <laughs> starting or were you studying throughout I studied it? a little bit before and then I studied along with it as awesome. well. So I did that one a little bit different. Yeah. Um, yeah, I kind of liked how I did that one, but cool. I would suggest doing the written first just to get it out of the way. Yeah, no, definitely yeah. always getting it written out of the way, doing your ground school, yep. getting the written done, and then getting to the airplane. Yep. Really good way to do it. It's always a better way. Um, scholarship wise, scholarship wise, so you got a scholarship for your instrument. Mm -hmm. If someone wants a scholarship, where do they begin? Yeah, it's really confusing actually. If you just search it mm -hmm. online, it's like the, you don't really know where There's to find There's so many them. outlets and mm -hmm. briefly so, right? They're not just gonna you know leave money on the table and say, go grab it. Yeah. Like, yeah, so uh, being involved in the 99s group was a huge one. Mm -hmm. um, Women in Aviation, I know, does them, but uh, 
the 99s I, I felt yeah. like really helped me out but it's really just finding your own group wherever you are they're all different yeah. in every state so you kind of have to go to each Go Each to your local group. Just reach out yeah. to people. Start finding out what the Ask social around. groups are. Ask yeah, what around. the aviation groups are, what the avi aviation organizations are mm -hmm. in that area. And yeah, I mean, ask, work for it. You got to work for it. You yep. got to dig. You it's do. It's going to be free. Yep. You're going to pay for it one way or another. <laughs> it's There's worth no it though. Free. It's worth totally it. Totally worth it. hundred yeah. percent. I would do it all over again. Awesome. So, yeah. Very cool. Well, hopefully you guys <laughs> become a pilot. Yes. Like Becca, yes. like myself, like so many other people here at Oshkosh. Hope you guys get to experience Oshkosh at some point. Yeah. Hopefully my voice will <laughs> stay intact for the rest of the show. We have three more days. Hopefully I'm not deaf. Now. Yeah, that too. I'm still here. <laughs> but I think we should go watch this air show. So thank you so much. Right, yes. Check out Becca the Pilot on yes. Instagram. Watch yeah, her, thanks. go get her commercial and all the other fun aviation adventures. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.